coming to you today with episode 26 of the Zelda Wind Waker series. And I don't know if you guys just saw that, but that's actually uh, where uh, the Kraken is. So let's just change uh, the wind tempo. And we can go check it out. South. Okie dokie then. So let's go do this. And since I, I'm not 100% sure, because it's been over two months since I last took a photo, or aside from the last episode, but uh, I don't know if I have the photo of the Kraken yet. But, anyways. Perfect. Okay, so let's use this. Probably the most effective thing that's actually gonna work against it, aside from the bow and arrow. But I kind of don't even want to waste arrows and stuff. This is a four-eyed squid. As you can see, I can only walk onto it four times. It can go up to eight uh, eyes in total of the squids. I'm just hoping this thing doesn't eat me. Well, uh, I just I just knocked it out of the ballpark. Why you do this to me? Dun, 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 dun. Okay then. And what we get from this is we actually just freed a fairy. Oh, Wicker of the Winds. Thanks to you, I've been free from the beast's foul gri grasp. As a thanks, I shall give you a little of my power. My magic increased. Woohoo, I have twice as much. May the winds of fortune always blow across your bow. Thank you very much! Thank you very much. Okie dokie then. So now where we're headed is right over here. This is the next uh, step in the, uh, the, the initial quest, if you want to put it like that. Okie dokie then, so... Well, that was not it. I am... This is it. And let's lift this up. Now let's enter the dungeon. Now there is a step that we need to do before we enter the next two dungeons. And this one is... Compose a new song. Go down, middle, right, left, middle. I learned the Earth God's lyric. Oh, great hero chosen by the Master Sword. My name is Laruto. I am a Zora Sage for, for an age. I offered my prayers here in the Earth Temple, praying that the power to repel evil would ever remain within the Master Sword. And yet, unfortunately, due to Ganondorf's evil designs, the Master Sword you hold has lost its power. 
After his defeat at the hands of the Hero of Time, Ganondorf has, uh, was sealed away, but not for all time. He was revived and he returned to Hyrule in a red, in a red wrath. He attacked this temple and stole my soul, knowing that uh, he had to remove the power contained in that enchanted blade. In order to return the power to repel evil to your sword, you must find another to take my steed in this temple and ask the gods for their assistance. You must find the one who carries uh, on my bloodline, the one who holds this sacred instrument. I have an idea who that is. Nothing can stop the flow of time or the passing of generations, but the fate carried within my bloodline endures the ravages of all the years that it survives. The song you just conducted is one uh, of which will open the eyes of the new sage and awaken within uh, that sage the melody that will carry out prayers to the gods. The door that blocks your way will only open when the sage plays that song. May the winds of fortune blow with you. Okie dokie, I know exactly who it is. I'll give you a hint, it involves wings. I'll, I'll, I'll leave you on that to guess while I'm going there. Dragon Roost. I don't know if you guys hear that. It's been a while since we've been here, eh? This guy's looking for a job. I think it was this doorway here. I could be mistaken. Yeah, I was mistaken. The more you know, right? initially wanted to go through. Whoops. Whoops. Well, I'm clicking everything but the thing I want to. So, doesn't that instrument look familiar? Oh, Dopey, you're okay. Of course I'm okay. Okay, so since you're an attendant, why don't I pull this out? Yes, that is the Wind Waker. I will conduct for you. You'll do amazing, I'm pretty sure you will.
sorry, this is actually my favorite out of the, the two songs that we have to teach the, the, the new, like, sages. So I'm definitely not going to be reading what she's about to say. Let me just put it this way. Before we end the episode, uh, we're going to take a stop back uh, uh, to Outset Island. There's something I wanted to get before we actually went go and start doing the temple. I can do that. Why don't we go do that now then? <laughs> It's like nobody was ever there. However, we're back on the boat. We're back on the boat. We're back on the boat. <laughs> Let's get the hell out of here. Okie dokie then, so, okay, it does uh, work for going south. left. I don't know if you just noticed there, but the bridge was actually like broken, so we have no other choice. I don't know if you guys remember from episode 1 or 2, but uh, there was something I, I believe I mentioned that we were going to go and uh, destroy in future episodes, which that is actually the case. So what you would want to do is you want to hop up here so you have a better like falling distance, and then you hop over. It's been a while since we've been here, hey eh, guys? I'm not even gonna bother with the mob. Unless it hurts me, that's the only way it's gonna get uh, a pounding. It's this thing. Now that we have access to bombs, we can actually blow it up now. Let's go already. Now let's see what she gives me. <laughs> Young Wicker of the Winds, allow me to aid you in your quest. <laughs> My 
I can carry more rupees, up to a thousand rupees this time. Woo hoo hoo. The fairies in this fountain shall ease your weariness when you grow fatigued from the battles. Come here to be refreshed. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna hope uh, I'm gonna end this episode right here. I forgot to mention earlier in the episode, but the one thing I actually got from uh, doing that last uh, ice temple, like that little side mission that was there, all I got was 100 rupees for it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. When we uh, show back up, we'll be at the Earth Temple. Peace out, and have a good day. Thank you.